Here warriors, we have a challenge in XJS today. We need to create a recipe book app. So basically what we need to do is to display all the recipes with names, images and description. We need to have ingredients for each recipe and to create a search bar that allows users to search for recipes by name or those ingredients. And when the user clicks on a recipe, it should open some kind of drawer or something like that to display the description and ingredients. And finally, users should be able to add a new recipe inside our app. Let's try it out. First thing I'm going to do is to go to my projects folder and install newest Next.js app. I'll call it recipe book app. And here I'm just going to hit enter, enter, enter. I want everything to be default. Now we're waiting for our app to be installed. Now we can just go to recipe book app and go yarn dev to run our app just to install the dependencies first and now we run our app so our next.js app is installed let's now go to the code i'm first going to paste here our challenge so we can track what we do and then i'm going to create a components folder we're definitely going to need that and a lib folder for some logic if needed. So we can start from our number one, and that's display a list of recipes with our names, images, and brief description. So we are going to create a new recipe component inside our components folder, and we are going to use RFC, which is an extension from Visual Studio, you can check the video above, and that creates automatically the React component. So here, if you check the challenge, we have name, image, and brief description, and also the ingredients. So we are going to create type recipe, and we are going to put title, string, then description string. Then we have image. We are going to put URL and ingredients. I hope I spelled it right, and that's array full of strings. Okay, that looks good. Now, we are going to display that in our component, so we can put just h3 for... Let's first put everything inside our component. Description, image, and ingredients. And that should all be type of recipe. And here we are going to put our title. Then we are going to put description. We are going to put an image using the next image. So that is going to be source is image. And let's just put it with 300 and hide 300 for now. What are we missing? Probably the alt. Yes. Alt we can put title also. Without these. And finally, we are going to go through our ingredients. Ingredient and just display. We can maybe put a list for now, just ingredient like this, and to put unlisted that way. Okay, now let's go to our page to see how it looks. I'm going to go to the home page here. This one is default from next.js i'm going to remove everything except the main div and change it just a little bit and now i prepared from ChatGPT 20 recipes that we are going to use so i don't search for the images and everything and titles so i have it prepared i'm going just to put it inside index.ts so it looks like this it's just an array full of recipes i'm going to export that like this and I'm going to use it in my page now I can just 
go here and import my recipes from here go map and for each recipe I am going to use my component called recipe and I'm going to use so title should be recipe whoops I did it again <laughs> recipe title description should be recipe dot description and ingredients and finally image so let's see what we got now okay this is nothing to be afraid of ChatGPT sent us images with this URL or so sunsplash.com we just need to put it inside our next.js config we're just going to jump into our next.js config and here we're going to use images and then uh, what's it called domains and in there we're going to put our yes source on splash.com let's try it now and here it is we have our recipes with the title description uh, here th these are the ingredients the image everything is working nicely in our recipe component so let's move to the next task so next thing would be to implement a search bar but let's just first make it a little bit better it doesn't look good first we're going to delete all the css from the default next.js app and then in our recipe let's put some here some flex flex column and some gap of three maybe also on our page uh, let's create let's create a new div because we are going to create search and bunch of stuff around this so we're going to put a grid with let's say four columns and now it should already look much better let's check it out yes now it looks like a recipe book uh, just to make a little bit better with those widths and everything so it's not across the whole screen a little bit of padding and then we can start with the search bar okay in our recipe component we're going to put some fixed width let's say 56 and here on our page uh, it's already centered we're going to put a gap here between all the recipes Oh yes, and also we are going to comment out the ingredients for now and the description because we are going to add it in a drawer to come out on click. Let's see how it looks now. And now it looks much better. We still have a little bit of problems here, but we are going to solve that later. We can put this title maybe across the image or below or something like that. Let's now start with our search bar here. So let's start by creating here a new div and we are going to create an input which is going to be type text and placeholder is going to say search also we are going to create a button we can also put search there and now we need a state we are going to call it search term and set search term so here we are going to make it equal to use state and search term is going to be a string so empty in the beginning now we can put that value to our input search term and on change we are going to put that our value is changing to set search term target dot value like this that looks good now we have a famous use client next.js please fix that so we are going to put use client here like this so it's going to work now our search is displayed above we just need to style it a little bit and to add of course the method for searching we're going to put some background let it be rounded 
padding and also some hover state for our button and we can put exactly the same thing for our input except the hover state okay and now we can add here on click which we are going to call search and to create it search an array function which is going to receive search term and we are going to search through our recipes but to create a new recipe later we are definitely going to need a recipe state so we are going to create uh, recipes recipe list state and we are going to use our recipe that we have but we are going to put it from here from our component we can put it in our lib folder here we can just call it index i think we're not going to need it anymore so export type recipe and then in our recipe here we're going to import it from there and also on our page here we are going to import the same one but that's an array full of recipes and we are going to put default as recipes so here we have duplicated identifier we're just going to call it recipe type and use it here that looks good now let's create our search function so we are going to create filtered recipes by going through all the recipes the filter array method and each recipe which is a recipe type we are going to go through recipe.title recipe description and through each of the ingredients and if sum of that we can call it text if that text includes search term it should be set as a recipe list filter recipes here and now we are going to take our recipe list and replace it here to have our, our components taking all the recipes from the state that we created let's test it out now and we are going to search for pasta and it's not working let's check out why it's probably because of the lowercase we should have put that before and same for the search term oh and actually here we are not returning a value we can remove everything like this and now it should work now if we search for pasta we are getting all the pastas nice and now we just need to get some reset or something like that because I need to search for the empty string. Let's continue. We can now just quickly add as a bonus uh, on key down event where we are going to catch an event that's the type of React keyboard event, yes. And there we can just check if the key equals to enter or to backspace backspace and in that case we can do another search so we can just hit enter and search for our recipes and we can just add it here inside our input so on key down we are going to call on key down okay let's continue now so now we are going to create a new button which we are going to call add new recipe and there for that one we are going to create a new state like recipe new recipe model and set new recipe model and that one is going to be boolean and by default it's going to be false so here on that button add new recipe on click we are going 
to put set what we call it set new recipe model to be equal to recipe new recipe model like this so that way we are going to open and close our model and now here we are going to create this div which we are going to open based on our new recipe model if it's true or not and there we are going to put a bunch of inputs for creating our new recipe so first one is going to be type text placeholder title then three more description image and ingredients now we are going to create four states for each title set title and it's going to be string empty by default then same for description and this one is image like this and finally ingredients now we can just add all of those values to our inputs so this one is value title and here we are going to put description image and ingredients and on change we're going to take the event and put set title to event target value like this so we're going to do it for each of our inputs this one is set description set image and set ingredients so now we need a button in the end we're going to just call it add and on click we are just going to call add new recipe that's the function that we are going to create now here we can just put a little bit of flex column and some gap 3 so it looks nice and now we can start creating our add new recipe function so we have all of our states we can just use them to create a new recipe so we're going to create a new recipe constant and we can put our states title description image and finally ingredients but our ingredients are a string so we can separate them by comma to have comma separated value and we miss this one here so we can format them to call it formatted ingredients and we can just take ingredients and split by comma that one should work so now we can put formatted ingredients as ingredients now we just set our recipes our recipe list and we take our old recipe list and add our new recipe and after that we need to set title set description and everything to empty string to reset everything and ingredients and we can now test it out let's see how it works so now if we go and click add a new recipe 
we have our inputs they're not looking very good but let's try them out so for title we can put carbonara for description we can put uh, delicious pasta delicious like this pasta image let's just leave it empty and here we can put bacon egg and pasta and when we add it is it added yes yes this works it's added to our list okay now if we refresh it, it we will lose it we would probably need some database or local storage but we're not going to do it now uh, let's now make it a little bit better and to see what we have left from our list of tasks so let's first take those buttons and give them the same class names like this and also the inputs just to make it a little bit nicer also that column is not working we need to add it flex like this let's see it now okay now it's better just a little bit more of gaps and i miss the button with the class name but i think that's enough for this challenge so we said little bit gap here so this should be a flex and gap of three again and also for the button here class name okay let's see what we have left so first one is done then we have a search bar that one is done also and now we need to allow users to click on recipe to view detailed information and in the end uh, provide a form for users to add okay so we finished everything except number three let's finish that one so for this one we're going to put some active state in our recipe component and let's move this one here we are going to put that if active that we are displaying everything from here and let's just uncomment it okay it's not that easy let's just delete it okay now i put it here uh, we need a fragment to hold it oh i have a comment still here okay now it looks better so now we need to add into our no it's not here it's in the lib we need to add active it should be optional and it's a boolean so here if active we are going to display our description and our ingredients and we can put that one to be absolute and it should be relative to this one and we can put some maximum width here and now we need to activate it so we are going to do it through our page so here we need some uh, variable to know if this one is active or not so how are we going to do it currently uh, i just noticed we are missing here our key so we are going to put index and we can use that one also to uh, to use to activate our recipe so we are going to create a new state and we are going to call it active recipe and set active recipe and that one is going to be a number which is going to be index number of our recipes we could use id basically if we had a database but we don't don't so we're going to put minus one because if we put zero then always the first one would be opened if we refresh it and now if this one so if active recipe equals to the index then it's true and we should open that one and on click we are going to put active recipe set active recipe to this index like this and 
let's see what's it complaining about one click does not exist okay let's move it up one one level like this and then we can also here put some class name cursor pointer it's not cursos it's cursor okay and let's see how it looks let's click this pizza and we got it it's okay it's not looking very beautiful but let's fix that okay let's go to that recipe component we can reorder the things here we can put the title below also the image could be full width i'm not sure if it is now it's w full then this one we're going to put it to look a little bit better here we can put some background color and also a little bit of padding and we can put text to be smaller so it would look much better and also the title to be centered we can also now remove this relative and let's see how it looks now yes now it looks much better uh, although it's not working if I click it again to close it we'll have to fix that one let's just do that quickly we can also here just move it a little bit from the description and yeah we are missing here also the key we can put the index here also and for that closing on click set active recipe we're going to use the same condition so in case it's already set we are going to set it like this with minus one and if not then with index let's try it out yes it's closing i can open and close the ingredients in description also the search is working yes it works on enter also on backspace we are getting our recipes back and we tried adding a new recipe that one works also it's not very beautiful but it works i am satisfied i hope you like this video if you'd like more content like this just click that subscribe button